Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video of Los Angeles Chargers franchise. We are here in week six. I must say week seven. We are in week seven. I'm recording this in once again. These, these videos are going up like once a week, maybe twice a week if I like skip something. But yeah, once a week. Coming off a big victory against the Chiefs. I really don't remember playing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Fifty-four to nineteen. We had that tough game against the. I don't remember what team it was. We actually could check. Oh yeah, we had that tough game against the Broncos, but that was about it. That was our only tough game. I mean, I guess week one was kind of hard, but other than that, Broncos, Broncos only seems to challenge us so far. We're facing the Bucks. We know they're home with Tom Brady because we had Tom Brady last year. We'll have to see what their team is looking like. It was good, it's bad. Uh, we have a breakout player. We're gonna see what that is. Is Nasir Adley, which I agree, Nasir Adley has been having. Uh, He's probably been one of the most underrated players in this series. Hold on with the 50 passing yards unless you get into Adley to come on, bro. Why is this like I need to take notifications off my Xbox? Get two interceptions, tackles for loss, force force fumbles or sacks. I read that kind of backwards towards the end, but yeah, you get it. Alright. We like holding 150 passing yards, under 150 passing yards. That might be a little tough. Uh, Ron Jones returned from injury, so that's great. Oh, there's really not a lot of upgrades. The only significant one is like Troy Act. I'm just doing these just to get him out the way. Yeah, the real only significant upgrade we have is um, Troy Apke. So I think we're gonna go zone for him. Yeah, we're gonna go zone. Like, I feel like Troy Apke is just a beautiful, beautiful corner man, not corner, a defensive back that could also play our middle linebacker. Like, he's going to be a summon linebacker for us. Like, he's really, really good. Like, 95 speed, 95 excel. Like, really good. What did you change the direction on? They're not actually showing us that. But, yeah, you're really fucking good, like, for speed. But you, the only problem you have, you actually got these hit power, too. You, you could cover a decent bit. But, like, you're, you're a wonderful user, man. 95 speed, though? Like, that's crazy. We should 72 overall. And plus one is on. Oh yeah, Joe Mason did get revealed. I forgot that last episode. He got revealed and we were supposed to change his ability. So something for Joe Mason I might want. Like a secure tackler type of thing would be good. Unfagel would be kind of good. But since you're going to be in coverage a lot, I would like... Like maybe secure tackler. Because like I said, you are that... um. You are Drew Tranquil with speed. If Drew Tranquil wasn't bad. Drew Tranquil wasn't like super slow, but he just wasn't that guy for us. Anyways, thank you for enough time in this intro. Let's get into this game. Let's look at the team. We know they have Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Vita Vea. They still have Rob Gronkowski somehow, Shaquille Barrett, and Max. Einstein, and that's their quarterback, who has closer and, which I don't understand why you have closer if you have a superstar ability only, you don't have a superstar X-Factor, which is kind of stupid, but whatever, we're going to get right into this one, and I don't really know what you guys kind of want to see, in terms of these games, you know, FIFA, Friday 13, GTA, Madden, MLB The Show, 2K20, 2K21, Outriders, Rogue, WWE 2K20, and Zombie Dead War 4. Zombie Army 4 Dead... Zombie Army 4 Dead War. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it is called Zombie Army 4 Dead War. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys want to see in terms of that, but... I can upload content like that, if you guys like. Um, you know, just let me know down in the comment section, and I'll try to get to it. Obviously, I'm uploading GTA stuff. I uploaded last week. That's one of my best videos of the week, honestly. And it kind of gave me the most subscribers, honestly. I'm almost up to 75 subscribers. I'm at 62 right now, I believe. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good in terms of content. Uh, videos are doing, I wouldn't say better, but doing decently. And they actually came out in like, the, the, the little um, creamsicle uniforms. Actually, those are one of my favorite Buccaneers uniforms. Actually, I kind of like the redder ones, like the older ones of like the two, early 2000s. I kind of like those ones a little better. 
But yeah, I like those cream school ones. I'm not gonna lie. Cream school in the early 2000s. Red uniforms. Thorin Dell, who is like really back to his old self. Well, not really back to his old self. Back to his usual self. Which is only catching touchdowns and having big, huge games. You know, as I mentioned, um, Justin Herbert has won Player of the Week last week with his uh, five touchdown performance. He had a rushing touchdown in there. Justin Herbert's season thus far is looking like a very good one. Just under 2,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, eight interceptions. We're just trying to not throw interceptions. That's as simple as it is. I just really don't want to throw interceptions anymore. Like, I just hate seeing now his stat line because he's a really good quarterback. I think I use him the right way. And, um,. Yeah, like, we just need to stop throwing interceptions. This might be a tough team to run on. Just getting past Vita Vea alone might be tough. See? Like I said. We actually did break a tackle from him, but... You know? There we go. See, with this team, I feel like... Easy running the ball. Obviously, it's way better than... The team we have in uh, what's this series called? I really can't think. Um, whatever, who cares? Like I just recorded that series yesterday too. Portland Snowhawks. That's what I'm thinking of. Portland Snowhawks. Yeah, there's obviously a very different type of team than the Portland Snowhawks series. But you know, it is what it is. I'm holding it. I'm literally holding it. I didn't double tap it. Oh, this game sometimes, bro. All right, they're obviously going to be blitzing off this left side. So I'm sending Tony Burton deep. Hopefully, it's wide open. It kind of was, but we're going to get Dorian Dale on that. And they almost have deflected that when I pass it Dorian Dale. So the first two catches of the game go straight to Dorian Dale. Might not end up in the video, but like every time I'm recording, there is something going on outside. Like it's something going on outside. Every fucking time. There we go. You actually fall forward right there. Four rush for 20 yards, not bad. Now we'll be willing to run again. I just gonna be some rushing off the edge right here. And we fall right into the first down. I was like, do not tell me inches. And we throw it into because it told me the guy was blitzing and he never blitzed. And I probably threw it a little too early. And I just said I hate throwing into. What do we do on that uh, first drive? Throw a fucking into. Uh, Max Einstein. Not really having a good season. Probably his rookie season. That's why. Or probably not. He probably just... He probably sucks. Like, that could be it. Ento, please. Um, good deflection, though. I want to go same coverage. I'm a little upset nobody got in. Blitz him. There we go. Safety. Who is that? Who's 51? I don't know who that was. Who did that? Oh, that is a uh, tap. Is it Trayvon tap? I think that's his name. Trayvon Tap. I'm sorry, I haven't recorded the series in a very, very, like, a while. So we give up a into, and we get a safety in return. So we get points. So you really can't be mad at that. I mean, you could be mad at that into, or whatever. I made a bad decision. We're going to run Dorian Dale on the post because we've seen how well that post worked last week. And uh, something should get open here. Yeah. 
Yo, Dorian Dale is definitely the best wide receiver in the league. I was going to say of all time. But I'm not, I'm not. I mean, he has an argument for all time. He dropped that? Are you kidding me, Dorian? I should have won possession. I'm not going to lie. That's me. That's me. They're blitzing. Please get out. Please get out. This is a touchdown. No, it's not. Uh, Kareem Hunt. If he had a little bit more speed, that definitely would have been a touchdown. Let's start right. We're right there. Let's not throw into this time, fellas. Let's like really not throw into. Come on, like power through. Doing it again. We're going zone bubble. Might just pass it. And that is an easy touchdown for my boy, Tony. That is our first touchdown of the game. It's going to put our lead 8 to 0. Maybe we might go for 2 here. I think I should go for 1. So we're going to put it 9 to 0 with this extra point. And. Yeah, I'm not going to say we're back to dumbs like that. But. We are kind of just dominant. You know, we threw that into that first time. We ended up getting a safety. Drove downfield pretty easy. Ended up getting a touchdown. Um, now let's run actually. Let's run something there. Yeah. And Rob Gronkowski could have been gone. I'm literally... Have the left arm while going down with, with, uh, while pressing Y. And nothing, he just stood there like, what, what, what was that? We're blitzing ya. And easy. We call the blitz. Matt Bryan gets a sack. That's our second sack of the game. And our defense is just dominant. Dorian Dale already almost has a thousand yards in the season, and we're barely at week ten. Good break tackle. Good break tackle for ten yards. Chances are I won't, but I'm gonna try to expose you with Dorian. Look at this. I'm going to expose you guys. Single high, you need two safeties on the field. Run cover three. Well, cover two, actually. And he's in the zone just like that. But are we going immediately to him? No, we are going to fool you guys. See, you guys want to put more safeties on the field at this point. You want to put more help on the field, but this is what we do. We run the ball at this point. Because y'all don't expect that. Yeah, I see Dorian lighten up, and y'all just like, ah, we're going to have to double him at this. Like, we're, we're going to have to. We have no choice. Now you have a choice. Beat these runs. Ronald Jones in his return game. Seven rushes. Oh, my God. It worked. Oh, my God. What a play. I tried to hand it off. It didn't work. That play was so good, it fooled me. Nah, that was actually a really impressive play. Yo, what the hell? It just like that, 16 zip. Hey, there's nobody on that. Big hit. Mr. Adderley. That could have been your forced fumble right there. All right, we're back to the stock coverage now. Not stock coverage, but. And we fucking tackle him forward. Nice. It said only hold him to 150 pass yards, which I believe we could do with this quarterback playing like this. Uh, he's not really attacking us, like, at all.
Good tackle. Probably should have hit stick him. I had an angle on it. Come on. Who is that? Ali Marpet is uh, injured. I think that was a Chenda Wolso who came away with the sack that time. Yeah, it was. He has 12 sacks in the season, I think. I mean, I do remember him having that uh, five sack game. So, yeah, 12 sacks in the season is incredible. Uh, this is going to be a record, like already, like, look at Dorian Gale. Like, this is going to be a record breaking season for so many of our players. All right, like this right here, this is obviously a shot to Dorian, right? This is a huge shot to Dorian. Do they double? Nope, there's not like, nobody even on him. Like, I feel like I would throw it a little bit to the outside, it would have been over. I'm on another RPO type thing. Easy run for Kareem, 1,362 yards. And it's like, once we get in the motion of things like this, it becomes so easy for us to do whatever the fuck we want. Because who's really going to stop us and be like, like put uh, the foot forward? When you already have a 16-point lead, your flexibility to do, like, other things are almost, like, wide open. This is double? Nope. Uh, I kind of was a little bit. Kind of was. I think he's out the zone with that, right? Yeah, he will. Yeah. Again, the same type of catch he went for just didn't. And I'm getting, I actually want to go for it because uh, we won't be losing nothing if you don't get it. Back at the end zone, and that is a easy catch. Like I said, we wouldn't be losing anything if we went for it. They would have been on the seven yard line regardless if we got it or not. So why the fuck not go for it? And I think I'm talking Dorian a little too much in this game. Like, I really don't target him this much. Like, he already has a lot of catches and a lot of yards. So me going to him this much is like really crazy. I shouldn't be doing that. This quarterback who seems like he's having a tough time, he had a safety on one of his first drives. Uh, just, I mean, they got down for a decent bit, but every time they kind of have something going or about to have something going, we come in and make it not that. All right, they gained a lot of yards on that because I didn't follow him throughout. Got 75 yards on that one. They call a first timeout. I just want to check how many yards Dorian Dale has. I feel like he has a lot. Justin Herbert already has 224 yards, two touchdowns, and interception on the game. That is incredible. And Dorian Dale has six catches, 180 yards, and one touchdown. I need to relax on Dorian. And that is short. It's going to be third down. They're going to hurry up right here. And I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm at. Intel, please. And that is an intel for us. Try to spin. Spin was slow. But nonetheless, we stopped from getting points. <laughs> Again. And we might even get some points of our own. I really don't know. Do I go double, uh, double post? Let's see what it does. A double post. Throw it away. All right. Uh, double post was not the move because there was no, literally no underneath routes. This is definitely a look right here. All right. Let's see what happens. They're going deep, and they enter the ball. Um. Look, okay, can we catch them? <laughs> All right. Threw two intos on the game to Taylor Rapp that time. 
That's all right. Um, it's all right. It doesn't really matter. All right. This is 23 to zero. Obviously entering the third quarter at this time. Um, they have nothing going for them on either side of the ball right now. I mean, they have entered us twice on the defensive side for them. But other than that, they don't really have much going, you know. They're going deep. And Nasir almost getting his intel. So we need to hold him to 150 yards or less. They are about at 80 something, I think it said. I'm not really sure what it said, but, but I think it said 80 something. Good tackle on Gronk. It's going to be third down. And they're going to go short again. <laughs> like, if you're going to hit that route, you're going to have to wait a little while because I don't know if that's a wheel or what. You're going to have to wait a little while longer to hit that route because the way you're attacking it right now is just not the right way to do it. And they definitely, like, I don't, I don't know. They need to incorporate some things. Why would I spin the wrong way? He caught that. Oh, my God. I did not think he was going to catch that. I'm not going to lie. Because it was like, that's a really fucking tight window. And Mike Tomlin is yelling at his probably defensive coordinator at this point. Like, look how tight that window is. You ha There's three people have to get it by. And really two people closing in on, like, Dorian, so... Very, very tight window. And once again, they're they're going single high. I am the single high killer. Like, literally, this is what I do. I kill single high. They're trying to double him. Yeah, they tried to use uh, what looked like Shaquille Barrett to double Dorian, which I don't really understand that thought process on that. Nothing got open. So we're going to be forced to punt. Well, actually, we're forced to take a field. I think it's a 62-yard field goal. We know we can hit these with ease in our fucking sleep. Accurate kick. Kick is up. Kick is beyond good. We're going to put it 26-0. to zero. So every drive we had had, except the first drive, has led to points. Well, no way, still, even in the first drive, we got two points off that safety when we threw it into, so. We can kind of say that every drive has led to points. Hit me. All right, we might have stopped them from getting the first down. It's going to be third and inches here. You know what that means. We blitz. We blitz on third and inches. Ah, uh, he's some... Maybe, maybe, maybe he didn't. What are they doing? That's, that's a bunch of baloney right there. Nobody there. Where was my cloud? And they're just hitting the outside. I believe that was Chris Godwin that time. And they're close to the 100 receive, well, 150 receiving yard mark. And Mr. Adley still has no force fumbles, no uh, tackles for loss, no sacks, no. Oh, quite frankly, no nothing. Can we get an into? We can't even stop them because he's literally gonna fucking. Moss him into the fucking end zone. This man didn't even touch the ground. And that easy, um, they drop downfield. So the first points that, well, not even first. I don't know what the fuck. I was gonna say the first 
time we don't actually get no points, they actually do end up getting points. So, um, yeah, I think we played bad on that one. Greedy Williams did not play the ball correctly. He, uh, I mean, it was a tight end. Uh, Greedy Williams is not that big of a defensive back at all. You need a stronger guy to say Adley, um, Marcus Harriet. Even maybe Denario Diggs. Denario Diggs is not that big either, but he's, he's more of a, like, a finesse guy who, where he can fit into those spaces that... So the idea on this play, I'm going to just say it quick, uh, Tony Burton on a crosser and Joe, not Joe Reed, Dorian Dell on a post. All right, did not work. All right, that was very bad. I tried to throw it away. We got hit, and now it is third and 24. Um, To say the least, really not good. I don't want to run right here. I'm gonna go with my classic play. Cross, <laughs> not cross up post. Oh my god, Dorian is a fucking god. Okay, at this point, I'm throwing it up to him. Yes, that was just a fucking throw up to him. That sounded gross. But that's what it was. It was just a fucking... Hey, don't you? Go up and get this. Good catch. Tony. All right, let's go back to run a little bit. Put 2 o'clock on. Get, in this, get to this fourth quarter in a hurry. Pick it up. Oh, my God. Kareem. All right, this is this is our second time fumbling in the same drive, and we are in the fourth quarter now. Great. I'm gonna run a streak and the cross run there too, so the safety can react to it. So that's what that's what I'm looking at. Dorian. Yup, a flag, and that's gonna put us right on the one. Why don't you just let me catch it, bro? Just give me the yards. On the two, really? That's a weird spot. Um, I feel like it's an obvious pass. But not who I went to. I pressed X and then I pressed Y to go to catch it. But, I mean, Hunter Henry, first catch of the game. Well, not first catch, but first touchdown of the game. First touchdown in a while, it feels like, actually. The only reason I do attack Dorian so much in some games is because if he can get open and he has a poor cornerback on him, why am I not attacking them? Why am I giving them opportunity of trying to find someone else when I have a perfect receiver in Dorian Dale? It just doesn't make any sense. Greedy Williams, uh, he's the one who got the touchdown last time, so... He's going to look to redeem himself. Well, I'm going to look for him to redeem himself, actually. And since it seems like I like to hit the flats a lot, we're running hard flats on him. No, we're not. We did not run hard flats on him. Get to him. And that's very good. Jerry Teller. We didn't run hard flats on him. I still couldn't find anybody. Did they get that? They did. Come on, y'all. Y'all played really fucking soft on me. We're blitzing y'all because I don't like what y'all doing to us. I'm covering the Sarah Adley. Well, I'm on the Sarah Adley right now. He caught that shit. Oh my gosh. We're just letting up so much in this fourth quarter right now. What the fuck is going on? Get to the fucking quarterback. Force him to make a bad decision. There we go. A Chen Nwosu. Another sack on the game. That puts him at 13 on the air. Please go deep. Attack Nasir so I can fucking into it. Like, I'm even playing shallow, so I'm even leaving this shit wide the fuck open. And they dropped it. Okay. Fourth and 13 now. Come on, 
please attack me. They did not attack me, but they converted. That was not my son to be over there, but I wanted to be over there so bad. So I can maybe make a play. All right. Ah, oh, come on. That's all right. I'm getting a touchdown. That's fine. They wasted all the clock, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, this game was out of reach anyway, so. Good for them for getting that. But I don't think Nasir Ali is going to get his stuff because he has yet to force a fumble, has yet to get an intro, has yet to um, tackle for loss, any of that stuff. Well, they're going to have to make a decision regardless, right? Either you're going to cover Hunter Henry or Dorian Dale. It looks like they chose Hunter Henry. <laughs> And looks like we chose another touchdown right here. Most likely. And an easy walk and touchdown. That's going to be for Kareem Hunt. His first touchdown of the day. He's going to put us 40 to 13. Or 14, actually. Now, Mr. Adley, you're going to have two minutes and 26 seconds to get your stuff that you need to get. You know what you need to get. Go on and get it, please. Please go on and get it. All right, end of game stats. I actually had a good place for recording, right under an hour for raw recording time. Justin Herbert had 384 yards, three uh, touchdowns, two and toes. Two and toes were just stupid plays. Uh, what's his name? Mike Einstein? Max Einstein. Einstein. That's definitely Einstein. Max Einstein. I call him, I'm going to call him Einstein. He had 334 yards, two touchdowns, and one touchdown. Only because, like, we were just trying to get that shit. Wouldn't say I couldn't really get it. Uh, just not Justin Kareem Hunt had 70 yards, 17 attempts on the rush, four point on the ground for one touchdown. Leonard Fournette did have a mediocre game, nine carry 25 yards, 2.7 on the ground. And Dorian Dell had a very impressive game, he had 300 yards in a game. That might be the is that the most ever in a game? 300 yards might be something like that. Uh, one touchdown, and uh, yeah, I don't know how to say this guy's name, but. Charlie Moore had 107. Rockin' Gashi had 96. Lynn Fournette had 41. 40. And the next most we had on was 32. That's fine. Uh, I think defense for us played very well. Tax for loss. Scarlett Leach had a tag for loss in their team. Joe Mason had one for us. Uh, Shaquille Barrett had one for them. And Jordan Brooks had one for them. But sacks, I think that's where we dominated. Generals had two. Scarlett Leach did have a good game because he had two sacks. And also with that tackle for loss. Jerry Tilly also had... One, why can't I? Like, my control's not that. I see though. Jerry Tillery had one. Matt Bryant had one. Trey on tap had one. Devin White had one. Vita Vea had one. And for Intos, we know they only got the Intos in the game. I just wish Nasir would have had a better game, but that's fine. It keeps us undefeated on the season. There really wasn't a contest in this game. It was very dominant for Devil for Nasir Adley, but that's okay. I, we, we tried. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it eventually, you know. It is what it is. We move on to 6 and now. Gonna move on to this bye week and uh, rest our players, obviously. Hunter Henry's gonna ask us, how do I want to handle this bye week, aren't you? Um, we just, yeah, we just need to rest. Rest and realization. We have the Saints next week. Saints are no trouble. They probably still fucking suck. And let's go. Let's make this last season a good one for all of us. We actually did win player of the week last week. Nice. Uh, I didn't notice that, but we did. Um, yeah. There's not much to go over with this series. We're just trying to get this uh, the season done. Hopefully win another Super Bowl. And if we do win another Super Bowl, we are a dynasty. I already think we are, already are a dynasty. But, um, oh yeah, that means Trayvon Tapp might... Not Trayvon Tapp. Marcus Harriet might be revealed. I forgot about that. He's the only one that needs to be revealed on this team. And he is. Why didn't it tell me that? He's a, a superstar development. He's mainly a cover guy for us. Um, maybe deep deep zone out. I think I think I think those are the ones we want for him. Maybe acrobat. I don't really know. We'll, we'll go over that next episode. 
But yeah, all of our players are revealed. You see how dominant this team looks. Uh, the only one that really else needs to be revealed is Felix Adams, and I don't know if he's gonna really get that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for us. If you didn't enjoy the video, be sure. Don't forget, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe, not subscribe. Not subscribe anytime. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. See you next episode. Until next episode. Peace. How is that your shooter dog? He ain't got no stick at all. Bro can get a brick at all. Once he get his wrist involved. We was winning from the jump. Knew it, they was tipping. Uh, we might spin through your shit.